This video is about how to fix RAM cache issues, eliminate stutters, and reduce input delay while gaming. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix all that using a small but powerful tool called ISLC, or Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. By the end of this video, you'll not only know how to set up ISLC perfectly for your PC, but also understand how it works under the hood and why it helps eliminate micro stutters and input delay. So let's jump right in. Before we start tweaking, here's what ISLC is all about. Your Windows system uses something called standby memory, basically cached RAM that holds data from programs or games you recently used. In theory, it's supposed to make your PC faster when reopening those apps. But here's the problem. During gaming, that standby memory doesn't always clear properly, and it can hog a big chunk of your RAM. When your RAM gets full of cached standby data, your system has to swap between memory pages more often. That means stutters, frame timing issues, and input lag. And this is exactly where ISLC comes in. It automatically clears that standby memory in real time, keeping your RAM free and your game running smooth, especially in long gaming sessions. First, go my Discord server and download Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. It's a small portable app, so you don't have to install it. Just extract it and run islc.exe as administrator. Once it's open, you'll see something like this. At the top, you can see your total system memory, your standby list, and free memory. These numbers update live as your system runs. Now this part is super important for every system. We're going to tell ISLC when it should automatically clear that standby memory. You'll see two boxes. The list size is at least. Free memory is lower than. These two values decide when ISLC will trigger a memory purge. Here's what to do for systems with 8 gigabytes RAM or less. Set both values to 512 megabytes. For systems with 16 gigabytes, RAM set both to 1024 megabytes. For systems with 32 gigabytes, RAM or more. You can set 2048 megabytes for both. Basically, this means when your free memory drops below one gigabyte or your chosen value, ISLC will clear the standby list automatically. Keeping RAM available for your game instead of background processes. Next, you'll notice a checkbox that says Enable Custom Timer Resolution. This one can have a huge impact on input delay and responsiveness. Here's what it does. Your Windows System Timer controls how often processes update, including mouse and keyboard inputs. By default, it's around 15.625 milliseconds, which is fine for office work, but not for gaming. When you enable Custom Timer Resolution, and set the wanted timer resolution to 0.05 milliseconds, it tells Windows to process events faster. That means snappier mouse input, smoother frame pacing, and a more responsive feel in games. But a quick warning, if you're on a laptop or have poor cooling, this might slightly increase CPU load. So only use this if your system runs cool and stable. Before starting ISLC, make sure your system power plan is set to high performance or ultimate performance. You can check this by typing Power Plan in Windows Search, Edit Power Plan, then select High Performance. Now back in ISLC, hit Start. This begins automatic monitoring. ISLC will now run in the background, clearing standby memory as needed. You can also tick Start Minimized so it launches silently every time you boot your PC. If you're about to launch a demanding game or you've been gaming for hours and start noticing stutters, you can manually click Purge Standby List. This instantly clears cached memory and refreshes your RAM. You'll often notice immediate improvement, especially in games like Warzone, Fortnite, or Battlefield that tend to load huge textures into RAM. And that's it. You've just optimized your system memory and reduced input delay using ISLC. If this video helped you get smoother frames or higher FPS, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and share your before and after results in the comments. I'll be covering more hidden optimization tools and tweaks that actually make a difference, so stay tuned for the next one.